Okay, well, it's about five in the morning. Time to get down a quick breakfast, and then we begin our hike. The sun here rises really fast. It's only been a few minutes and it's already getting bright out. Very interestingly, there's a bunch of clouds rolling in from the mountains to the south. But it's as beautiful a morning as any. I can hear your Look at the clouds rolling in. So we're leaving this campsite soon for a long, long adventure. 6.12 a.m. and we are off. We've just finished the first section of the hike. First taste of sunlight in the morning. So now Nathaniel, Josh, and I are going from here, up there, all the way over there. What do you think? It's gonna take dedication, hard work, cooperation, <laughs> team effort. <laughs> we're from the sun now, overlooking the, the clouds that were on their way in when we first woke up, we're now above. So Josh is a speed demon, and he's already at the top midway through and Daniel's on his way. We're nearly to the end of the second part. How does it feel to be the, the champion of that? Feels pretty good. Of that hill. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the group is down there. And we're up here. I can hear you. Oh, no, we're Jose, how much farther? Or is, where's the end of the second section? 25 minutes from this point. Okay. Yeah. Right. Cool. Are you okay? Are we okay? What? Uh, the little more for easy, then up. Then the last part is the hardest. It's the last part hardest? That's harder than that. Uh, yeah. Why? Because we went up until 4,600 and the oxygen is a little less. But it's the most, the short, the short part. Oh, it's a sh yeah, short part. press. Are we regrouping? Well, in your case, you have a problem as you are hiking very good. Yeah, Thank you. The other Pumas in the problem. <laughs> the other Pumas. The rest of the crew is almost here. They're right there, cresting here. There he is. There he is right there. I don't know if you can see that. Woohoo! So we made it to the highest point of our hike, I believe. We're at 5,000 meters above sea level, maybe more. But it is extremely, extremely windy.
walking downhill for about an hour and a half now, all the way from the top of the mountain. And it is just an insanely long trail. But About 20 minutes ago, we passed what looked like a camp, and we're pretty sure that wasn't ours, but we're not seeing any signs of another one. So, for all I know, I could be lost in the jungle. But, very, very good views. morning here and uh, we made it to our campsite we, we survived but all my camera batteries died and so that's why there's nothing left of yesterday but it's time for a new day another long day of hiking and adventure in the jungle we're seeing a lot of different types of plants including these tiny little strawberries he said we could eat them but uh you can do it to Lucas. <laughs> Lucas? Yeah, Lucas. This is the name from my, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, we are just eating some fresh passion fruit. Look at that. Jose? What do you call it again? Granadilla. Oh wait, this, is, this isn't passion fruit? It's similar to a passion fruit, but it's grenadilla. So we're eating grenadilla, which is like a passion fruit, but it's like sweet passion fruit. Mm. Sweet passion fruit, there you go. Here on the Granadilla farm, we learn how to eat them. Very simple, just. I will try it in between. Look at this, right? Very good. Just opens up like that. I was there a long time ago, but my parents visited there a lot. Very sweet and delicious. My teeth are Asian teeth. about uh, eight and a half-ish miles later. We have finished 
the majority of our walking today. It's about 11.30. Uh, and now we are getting, we're going somewhere else and I'm not quite sure where. So here's a coffee plant. So the beans, or the fruits of the coffee, looks like this. You can open it up. You open it up to find the bean. And you take these beans, you wash them and ferment them here, then you dry them, then you take the dried beans and you roast them using the stick. Then once they're finished being roasted, you grind them up, brew your coffee, and it is delicious. We just picked beans from a coffee plant, fermented them, roasted them, ground them, and brewed them. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. What do you guys have to share to the camera? We just got to watch how coffee is made, which was absolutely amazing. I haven't had coffee in days. It was so delicious. Oh, unbelievable. And Daddy's picked as the strong man of the group to grind the beans, <laughs> which is an honor. It is, but I wasn't the strong. 